Moving on to adrenal myelolipomas. These are benign tumors comprised of fat and hematopoietic tissue. They comprise 6% of incidental adrenal masses. They are non-functional and generally asymptomatic unless they're mass large enough to have mass effect, and really they can hemorrhage. Gross fat is the characteristic imaging feature, and any adrenal mass that is largely comprised of fat or greater than 50% fat is essentially diagnostic of a myelolipoma. They may have variable amounts of soft tissue density, and they can calcify. So let's discuss the macroscopic fat containing adrenal mass further. This is a paper from 1998 that looked at CT of quote-unquote myelolipomas based on the presence of gross fat on CT, and they looked at the pathology. It turns out that most true myelolipomas had greater than 50% fat in the lesion, but importantly, they had 18 non-myelolipoma lesions with gross fat. And it turns out that these were adenomas with myelolipomas or lipomatous change within them. And importantly, all but two of these had less than 50% fat. So the conclusion from that study was that an adrenal mass with small amounts of fat could still be a myelolipoma, but it can also be an adenoma with fatty degeneration. Now, why does this matter? Because they're both benign. Well, an adrenal adenoma should have a biochemical evaluation because it may be functioning, whereas a myelolipoma should not be. It's also important to note that rarely adrenal cortical carcinoma can have gross fat. This is usually not a diagnostic dilemma because these are otherwise large, aggressive appearing tumors, however. This is a case of a proven adrenal adenoma that in 2009 was entirely soft tissue density. However, the patient came back for a CT for an unrelated reason seven years later and had developed a small focus of macroscopic fat within the tumor. 